Welcome back, and today on Poor Man Mods, we'll be working on Project S13, 240SX, non-running 240, with the continuing adventures of non-running 240. Should we disclose that it's a non-running 240, or just disclose when it runs? It's kind of a given that it's not running because it is a 240, so should we say, yeah, This is the simplest car to work on, by the way, from the engine to the sheet metal. Oh, yeah. Of course. Today, we're going to be... When are you going to release this? Because this video doesn't make a lot of sense without the prerequisites of what we're doing to this car now because the plans have changed because I decided they did. This is going to have some very basic <laughs> modifications. But today, we'll be working on the SR, doing some fuel system work. Uh, the car came with a wall row pump and a Nismo fuel pressure regulator. Pretty good, thank you, previous owner. And we are going to be taking our new, that one's empty, our uh, <coughs> new Subaru WRX STI. I think these are from 04 to 06. Might be wrong on that. It should be 550 cc's. There's a lot of speculation on what the flow rate on these actually is. Um, I say they're 550 cc's. Part number is 16600-AA170. And these are fuel injectors to support our upcoming big turbo upgrade. Because even though I said this was going to be a close to stock restoration of an SR20, I then decided to buy a very big turbo. So here we are in the bay of our wonderful S13 that's coming along quite nicely. Um, so what you're going to want to do, then I already took this step off camera because it could have been bad. You want to take a big, fat, thick, long Phillips screwdriver. Get your mind out of the gutter. And you want to break the Phillips screw heads on the injectors. Um, you want to do this slowly and with some precision. That way uh, you don't break these off. If you do break them off, you can still source them, but as usual, it's best not to break things. So the next thing you're gonna want, and you can choose to do this if you want or not. See, I take some vice grips because Nissan connectors are junk, and I get a very delicate grip in here. And I push down and just wiggle a bit, and once I see that it's moving, I can then pull it off with my hand. The reason I use vice grips, this thing's in the way, the reason I use vice grips is just to get some water there, just to get a good strong grip on the uh, on the connector, and uh, that will allow you to pull it off. Uh, important to note that the new injector Subaru does not clip into your Nissan harness, so you'll need to go and source the Subaru. I think that would be the female side of these, I think. Uh, yes, and uh, you'll need to solder or splice, probably solder for injector stuff, um, those into your, your, your fuel rail here. It's only two wires, so that's not too difficult, and you'll see that in another part in the future, because those are on order and are coming to us soon. So, now that the magic of editing, I have the screwdriver back, because we weren't done with it. You're going to uh, completely remove these two screws, very slowly and gingerly. And then you're going to immediately drop one on the ground, never to be seen again. And you're going to take the other one to your nearest hardware store for replacement. Or you can put them in your pocket. And then when you put them in your pocket for safekeeping, you can forget they're there, because you, of course, break something else and stop. Then you can wash your pants and lose them in your washing machine and wonder what all that cluttering noise is are. So that's another option. So you've removed your two screws, and then this cap literally just pops off. And now the struggle begins because these injectors have been here for quite a while. They are not so easy to remove. There is an O-ring at the bottom and an O-ring at the top. You can spin these guys once you start to loosen them up, and that kinda just gets the O-ring in there loosened up. But now is the fun part. Now you need to get them free. Hashtag the struggle is real. The struggle is real. So I recommend what the forum doesn't, which is a big pair of fucking vice grips, and then usually I'll break something, and then I'll have Mike or Ryan fix it for me. So we'll see if we can recreate that here for you today. And then you can kind of just grab the sides of these, apply some pressure and wiggle from side to side. <clears throat> just like that, you give up. Someone in the comments will be like, oh, you just fucking do the thing and it comes right out. It takes three seconds. So when that fails, you, uh, you go back to your, I'm gonna just, get this out method. Mm. 
Want me to try? Yes, Mike, <clears throat> you're up. Tap in. I'm too afraid to break things, and, and you're not ever afraid to break anything. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I loosened that up for you, Mike. So as you can see, now that Mike was so gracious to pull that the rest of the way out, um, these are relative. Are you done yet? Yeah, are you done yet? Good. So as you can see, these are very similar in uh, physical dimension. Um, I actually used a uh, caliper, digital caliper, measured the differences, and they're, they're extremely similar pretty much the whole way up. Um, we're going to put some oil in this. The uh, guys in the forums recommend Vaseline. Um, and then we're going to install this guy. And then later on, you'll see Mike uh, wire this up in another video at another time in the future. Not today. Put some lubricant on the O-rings, which you can maybe kind of see in that shot. Maybe not. doesn't really matter. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to drop it in place. And once it's there, you're going to kind of spin it around in there just to make sure it's seated properly and make sure that the O-ring is uh, lubricating up the walls of said, of said uh, fuel rail. And then you're going to struggle to put it back on. Pro tip, do not use your aluminum cast housings and screws to try to smash the injector in place. You will more than likely break this, break a screw, or break some threads. Um, we didn't learn that from experience, but we know that from simple knowledge, that the amount of pressure required to smash that injector in place is greater than you can apply with this. So the forum suggests two methods. You'll probably see a struggle with both. Method one is to take one or two big ass, rather large flathead screwdrivers and smash it into place and pop it in. The other option is to take a socket, which this is a seven millimeter, and an extension, and then you place it over the top of the injector and you force it down inside of the fuel rail. So you'll probably see both of those methods as we struggle to get this in place and uh, you know, move on. And then once this is done, you have STI injectors in your SR20 with no wiring and the inability to start the car. Perfect for a 240. Perfect. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Can't even turn on. I don't know what the forum thinks you'd do with these screwdrivers except maybe this. Man, it's fucking tight. Oh, I got it. Ha <laughs> ha. But I got that one. I got that one on my own. That's good. It's like I'm 17 again doing car work. Now you're going from Pampers to Tidy Whitey's. Yes. Focus. It's, uh, it's right there. So you have your cap. And uh, once this is in, you should be able to move this injector kind of like you did the previous one. And you just put your screws in that you lost or bought again from the nearest hardware store. Or dug out of the washer or, where, where you found some socks that you forgot you had. Yeah, that's true too. Or you dug around the floor of your garage and found them and you tighten these up. And again, these are like aluminum, I believe, so you, you don't really want to tighten them up too terribly much. Impact. Full throttle. Mm -hmm. Floor it? Yes. And then you're just going to repeat for the entirety of the fuel rail until you are done. Yeah, you shouldn't have to. Once you bottom out that flat or the lock washer, you're tight enough. Yeah, so uh, you can see now we have two Subaru injectors that aren't connected to anything because the connectors don't work. And then we have two S13 fuel injectors. So uh, you can stop now and turn your car on. Two cylinders. Two cylinders that run pig rich, two that don't. Yeah. Hey, so we are done. As you can see, the car has no injectors wired up. And as such, it doesn't run. And even if the injectors were wired up, we have no tune on the ECU for these 555 such and such CC injectors. And without a tune, the car would run pig shit, if at all. Because the stock injectors are how many CCs? 370. 370s, and these are 550 somethings, depending on the impedance that you run them at. Um, and as such, oh well. And that'll be tuned probably in my future, because that's the cheap and easy way out of this problem, or Jim with the technology ECU retune, because I can just tell them what's on the car at that point, and they can just, done, mail it back to me for a couple hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, and we might pull the head off at some point, which means that all this has got to come back off anyways. I mean, the injectors stay in the rail, but you know. It's good to put car parts on the car that don't really accomplish anything. They look nice, they're yellow. Look at those yellow injectors, Mike. Zoom in on those beautiful yellow injectors. Those beautiful yellow Subaru injectors. So those are now on our fuel rail. Eventually they'll be well placed and uh, a well earned mod if and when this 240 ever runs. If, if and when.
That seems to be the story with every card here right now. Yeah, for real. The 86 is down. This is down. That's not running, and the super's broken. The pressure washer runs. It's not a car, but it does Subaru run. Subaru runs. Yeah, your Subaru does run. Yeah. Thank God. I'd be pissed. So, yeah, we're coming along. We're doing stuff. At least we're working on it. Not just sitting here. So, as always, like or dislike, comment or don't comment. Subscribe, but don't unsubscribe. That would be a real dick move. Uh, and we will see you in whatever we film next. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Formula Mods. Goodbye!